Welcome to Stonehenge in England. Stonehenge belongs to one of the most famous and mysterious megalithic structures. There are countless researchers who have tried to explain how Stonehenge might have been used. But none of these attempts never really made sense. There are many ideas about the possible purpose of Stonehenge. We have applied our method to Stonehenge. Stonehenge is not even part of our dataset. And we have discovered that Stonehenge was an ancient calendar. A very ancient, pre-Ice Age calendar, and much more ancient than most people can imagine. Way beyond the current paradigm, into deep antiquity. Stonehenge was built by early Homo sapiens or another humanoid race, like Neanderthals. Our method is powerful, because it is mathematical and probabilistic. We have discovered, by looking at orientations of around 1,000 ancient sites, spread around the world, that ancient structures follow a path of clusters. An intriguing pattern. This collection of ancient sites form five massive clusters that we are showing here. Of course, not all ancient sites are oriented to each of these clusters. Around 60% of the whole collection of ancient sites are focused on five, very small areas. These clusters follow a path that runs over Greenland. The rhythm of the clusters appear to follow the same rhythm as the temperature anomalies over the last 350,000 years. The probability that these five clusters are formed coincidentally, and at the same time follow the rhythm of the ice ages, is one to many trillions. This indicates with a very high probability that ancient structures are much older than previously believed. The first thing we did was to look for symmetry axes in Stonehenge's arrangement of the five large trilithons. A symmetry axis might be a signature of an ancient cardinal system. And indeed, Stonehenge's core has only one symmetry axis, and this symmetry axis correlates with pole 4. This alone is a significant discovery, because the probability that this was meant to be so, is around 70%. That is not spectacular, but significant enough as a start. The next thing we did is reverse engineer the possible setting of Stonehenge during the period of Pole 4. Due to a series of massive crustal deformations, the orientation of Stonehenge might have changed, and caused it to be oriented as it is today. We think that this is the reason why no theory about Stonehenge ever made any sense. Stonehenge's current symmetry axis is roughly pointing towards our current summer solstice, and this misleads many people into the simple idea that they have the solution. However, researchers try to figure out how Stonehenge might have worked with the current cardinal system. No idea seems to make Stonehenge talk. Four of the five trilithons are unnecessary in our current cardinal system. That is why we suggest to look at another possibility, and that is another cardinal system, that of Pole 4. The distance from Stonehenge to Pole 4 is much less than the distance from Stonehenge to our current geographic pole, Pole 1. That means that the latitude of Stonehenge at the time it was built was much different. A different latitude means other solstice angles. The distance from Stonehenge to Pole 4 would mean that Stonehenge was originally built at a latitude of 63.1 degrees. Today, Stonehenge is located at a latitude of around 51.2 degrees. With the formula that we have designed for our method, we can calculate both the summer and winter solstice in relation to the ancient equinox of Pole 4. It appears that there is an incredible fit in this situation. These simulations from different angles show how Stonehenge most probably worked for the observer during Pole 4. Because the trilithons now have a clear function that fits in a complex setting, we can claim with a probability of almost 100% that Stonehenge is as old as Pole 4. To be more precise, 265,000 years old, with a margin of plus or minus 1,200 years. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share it with your friends and followers, and let us know what you think below in the comment section. One last thing. Our work is difficult. And because we tread uncharted territory, our progress is steady but slow. We are not here to entertain you with superficial daily videos. We are here to inform you, and to pave the way to new methods of researching our ancient history.
Everything we do takes a lot of time. We are not monetized on YouTube due to the controversiality of our work. That is why we need your support on Patreon. Thank you for watching.